Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Kaylin and I'm your Miss Santa Maria Elks Rodeo 2021. Here at this channel we go over all things western. Rodeo, rodeo queens, and my favorite subject, horses. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Also turn on your notifications so you never miss one of our uploads. So for today's episode we are going to go over DIYing your own rodeo queen shirts just like the one I am sporting today. <laughs> so as a rodeo queen, we all know it is super, super important to get that glitz, that glamor, that sparkle in, and what better way to do it than with your clothes. So sporting what you like and sporting something super shiny and super rhinestone is another way of being a rodeo queen. So I had an idea in my head already of what I wanted on the shirts. I didn't go into it cold. I kind of had an outline of what I wanted. And I did two different types of rhinestones on these collar, as you'll see here. We have one little teardroppy shaped rhinestone and then my normal round rhinestones. I have two types of glue, just a general fabric glue and then a the E6000 glue. And I've actually found that I like the E6000 glue a little bit better, but that might just be personal preference. So I'm going in with that glue and I'm still trying to figure out my tools here. Uh, but I have a set of tweezers, a rhinestone katana, I believe it's called, which is this awesome little pen that has a poker on one end and then a wax cap on the other end to pick up your jewels. And I worked in small sections just to make sure that the glue didn't dry out by the time I got to the end. So I would go through and I would place them where I wanted. I kind of staggered these rhinestones. I would only use this method if you are clustering rhinestones really, really close together because you don't want to see the glue in between the rhinestones. And then I decided to kind of carry on that same pattern and do the exact same thing along the back yoke of the shirt, just in one kind of a line. I'm not sure if you can see, but in this clip, I kind of have those pockets out to the side where I'm not bumping them and moving the rhinestones that I've placed. Then, because this shirt is pink for breast cancer awareness, the month in October, I wanted to put the ribbon on the shirt somewhere. And using just a white pencil, traced the outlines of this cutout onto the shirt where I wanted it. And these pencil markings will go away once I wash the shirt. I wanted to make sure that the ribbon was centered in the back portion of the yoke, and then I retraced it once I had it kind of on a flatter surface, just so I had a little bit of a better outline. And here is the finished product. I am so happy with how it turned out. I absolutely love how this look turned out. Everything from the detailing on the collar and the front yoke, to the little tiny cluster on the pocket and the cuffs. I just think this look is so amazing and so sparkly. So that is it. That is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much again for joining me. If you like what we do here, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Also, leave a comment down below. Have you ever designed any of your own queen clothes? If so, I would love to see pictures of it in the comments below. Miss Santa Maria Elks Rodeo could not do what she does today without the help and support of her generous sponsors. So, if you like rodeo and you like rodeo queens, please consider becoming a sponsor yourself. I will leave all the information in the description below. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.